Now, think about the vastness of the universe. Our galaxy contains between 100 and 400 billion stars. Many of them can potentially host planets. Many of those planets might have water in them and be capable of supporting life. And this is just the Milky Way alone. What's the likelihood of other intelligent civilizations existing out there? Well, there's a famous formula called the Drake Equation. It's a mathematical tool to guess how many civilizations from outer space might be able to talk to us in our Milky Way galaxy. It was made by a scientist named Frank Drake in 1961. Here are the variables in it. N is the number of civilizations we could potentially talk to in our galaxy. R star is how fast new stars are born in our galaxy. F sub P is the fraction of stars with planets around them. N sub E is the average number of planets around each star that could support life. F sub L is the fraction of those planets where life might actually start. F sub I is the fraction of planets with life that could become smart civilizations. F sub C is the fraction of smart civilizations that send signals into space. And L is how long those civilizations keep sending signals. Of course, we won't get an exact number like this. It's more like an educated guess, and we don't have any answer to that. But based on at least some information we know, there might be around 100 million worlds where life should have evolved. But if that's the case, then why haven't we met or heard from anyone? This is called the Fermi Paradox. It's named after the famous physicist Enrico Fermi. He asked a simple but very important question. Where is everybody? <laughs> Our universe should be filled with chatty extraterrestrial beings, advanced civilizations, and spaceships zipping around. Yet, when we look up at the night sky or listen with our radio telescopes and antennas, it's eerily quiet. All we get is the so-called great silence of the universe. Scientists from Oxford University's Future of Humanity Institute are trying to answer this question. And they're not the only ones. A group called METI, for Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence, organized a workshop in Paris in 2019 to explore this mystery. The workshop brought together experts from various fields, like astrophysics, biology, psychology, and so on. One of the ideas discussed is called the zoo hypothesis. It suggests that perhaps other civilizations do exist, but they're simply not broadcasting their presence. Maybe they know that making direct contact with us could be risky for both sides. So they're intentionally avoiding us, because they're watching us like observing a zoo. They could be using advanced technology we can't detect. There are also some optimistic explanations, like time delays. Space, as you know, is unimaginably big. The time it takes for signals or information to travel across the universe is enormous. It's possible that other civilizations exist, but their signals haven't reached us yet, or ours haven't reached them. But some explanations aren't very optimistic. Like, some scientists think Earth might really be unique. Maybe the conditions that led to life and intelligent beings are so incredibly rare that there are no other planets like ours. Scientists point out that there are many planets similar to Earth, and some are much older. This means there should be plenty of planets where life could evolve. Recent research also suggests that life might be way more resilient than we thought. And, well, while it increases the amount of life existing out there, it also increases the chances that intelligent life doesn't last very long. It might destroy itself before it can spread to other parts of the universe. This is a concerning idea for the future of humanity. The researchers also considered that many planets might be at a similar stage in their development. That's why it's hard for them to explore the universe at the same time. But even they agreed that this explanation is way too far-fetched. And finally, one of the big potential explanations is called the Great Filter. This idea was suggested in the 1990s by Robin Hansen. It says that for life to develop and become advanced like us, it has to overcome some really tough challenges. First of all, the planet itself should have a good stable star and good enough conditions on it. Then life has to start on that planet. These life forms need to be able to reproduce using things like DNA. Simple cells must evolve into more complex cells. More complex organisms with multiple cells must develop. And eventually, these organisms must figure out how to reproduce, which increases genetic diversity. 
And finally, these organisms must be smart enough to use tools, create, and explore things. Finally, they should colonize other planets and star systems without destroying themselves. And maybe one of these stages is so incredibly hard that most civilizations don't make it past that point. This challenge could be something like developing intelligence in the first place. Or it might be the struggle to avoid self-destruction. So perhaps life isn't rare at all, but most of it doesn't go beyond simple tiny organisms like bacteria. Even if the universe is full of bacteria, they don't become advanced enough to build spaceships. The Great Filter might also be something from outside, like a huge asteroid crashing into a planet, a dangerous burst of gamma rays, or a massive star going supernova. These events could destroy life on any planet, no matter how advanced they are. So if we've already passed this challenge, it means we could be the only ones in the universe and we can explore it. But if we suddenly hear from a super-advanced civilization, it could mean the hard part of the challenge is still ahead of us. Now, the Fermi Paradox focuses on intelligent civilizations. It just implies that there should be civilizations more advanced than us, or at least as intelligent as us. But if you think about it, why should extraterrestrial life be similar to ours at all? It might be completely different for many important reasons. Life elsewhere might have developed under completely unique conditions. This could lead to forms of intelligence and consciousness very unlike our own. For example, it could have evolved into highly advanced forms that aren't based on biology as we know it. These beings could exist as energy-based entities, silicon-based life forms, or even as a hive mind. And because they have evolved completely differently, they may be capable of things that we aren't capable of. For example, we can't see the entire light spectrum. Our eyes also can't perceive cool things like dark matter. But who knows what the vision of extraterrestrial beings may be capable of? Their abilities might even extend beyond our three-dimensional perception. They might be able to perceive and interact with higher dimensions, which is why they could have unique, interesting insights into the nature of our world. Or maybe they've learned to think outside of time, like in the movie Arrival. For us, we still haven't met them, but for extraterrestrial beings themselves, the concept of time doesn't exist at all. They're simultaneously in the past, present, and future. For humans, something like this is hard to even imagine. Plus, even on Earth, we don't fully grasp how consciousness works or why it exists. We're not even sure when exactly we became conscious. So even if we do encounter extraterrestrial life, it will be hard for us to understand them or communicate with them. We think that they might have entirely different language systems, symbols, and so on. But they might not even have any communication systems at all. As you can see, the possibilities are endless. Evolution is a process that can go in many different directions. It's possible that extraterrestrial life developed in ways we can't easily understand or even imagine. These things are intriguing to think about. There are still no easy answers. The Fermi paradox remains one of the most exciting and mystery questions in science. Scientists continue to explore these mysteries through a multidisciplinary approach. They're hoping to find clues that could lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of alien intelligence. And until we find a definitive answer, we can keep sparking our curiosity and imagination. <laughs>